Welcome to Season 3 of The Beggar's Run, a PvP rune-only run with a unique rule set to make the series more difficult, interesting, and also incorporate the base game experience in a more interesting way. This is how it will work for Season 3. On top of only spending runes from killing hosts, phantoms, and hunters, we have three quotas to fulfill. The Invasion, Boss, and Mage Quota. The Invasion Quota means we must win an invasion to pick up a desired item for the character. The Boss Quota reads that we must fight a boss every fifth invasion, and every fifteenth must be a Remembrance Boss. If we beat all Remembrance Bosses, the run is complete. If we can't progress, then the run is a failure. The Mage Quota states that we can only use sorceries and only have stave class items in our weapon inventory. And on top of all of that, much to her dismay, Antebellum is forced to wear mage and witch clothing. A full list of the rules and their intricacies can be found in the description and also the comment section. Since I almost exclusively use melee weapons, this run will be the hardest I've done to date. Sit back and enjoy my suffering. Okay, so... I wrote down the amount of runes that we have. We're not spending them until we can get... Until we can get Carry and Slicer, so we need to hold our cards right now. But, what we're gonna do before we start invading Stormvale, is I'm gonna go ahead and get all of the different Sites of Grace, so if we do die, we can get it as easily as possible. Cause it'd be really bad to have these runes here, and then lose them by dying twice in an area. So, we're going to go ahead and get all of the Sites of Grace that I can think of. So yes, we are going to go ahead and get all of these Sites of Grace in Stormvale. Now, the biggest thing about this, other than just making sure that we are able to get our runes back if we die, is also just making sure that we have as little of a trek we need to make as possible. Now, actually, while I was in the middle of doing this, I found out you can get past the Omen and Dog without aggroing them. I did not know that, that's quite nice. You just have to go as far right into the area as humanly possible. And then we're going to go and start getting our way towards the Rampart Tower Site of Grace, which is probably the most important one in the entire area. And I will do this here at the end of this little session. We're going to get rid of all these runes we're getting from the PvE, putting it back at 396 before we start invading. Okay, hang on. If we get 10 more runes, then we're good. You dropped 5, right? Okay. Okay, okay. Adios. Okay, there we go. That's something that's divisible by 20. Very good. And there we go. We're back at the amount that we need to be at. There we go. Very good. Okay, we're back at 396, meaning we can get to the actual invasions. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Okay, we have five invasions we have to do before we can fight a boss fight. However, so chat, it's every fifth invasion that has to be followed by a boss fight, and it's every 15th that needs to be followed by a remembrance boss. With the four things that we got from episode one, I feel like even if we lost the next ten invasions, we would still be able to kill Gard uh, Godric. So that is that is a good feeling. I'm pretty sure that we can beat Godric now, uh, because I got the Intelligence Knot tier, and then also another Flask. Um, so I, I think we should hopefully be okay. <sighs> With you being the one and only Sergeant Mitter, losing the next 10 is not unrealistic. In quotations, love you, Jaggy. That's a pretty decent idea. But where's it at, though? Oh, fuck. Oh, he's overleveled, too. Oh, shit. Oh, he's so overleveled. He could fucking annihilate us. We cannot fight these people, chat. I almost fell to my fucking death first invasion. We need them to continue through the level. We need them to get to the Banished Knights. I cannot kill that guy with this shitty build. If I had Carrion Slicer, maybe. Let's see if the Phantom Finger will help us out. 
Noob deer running. Shut up! Damn. Please set me near the Banished Knight. Wait, is this, the, is this the first time in history that this actually helped us? Oh, okay, there's the Banished Knight. I didn't see him for a second. Holy shit, this area is so dangerous for us. We just need to wait, chat. We need to lure them. Oh, claws? Fuck. That is just not enough damage. If I get caught by that Ash of War, it's over, dude. It'll be fucking Jover. Now begins the Great Stormvale Stare Down. Bro, there's no way. You have every single item from the DLC. Kill this fucking Banished Knight. Dude, there's no way you guys are not willing to progress the goddamn level, dude. We have to wait, chat. There's not an option. Are we about to have to employ teabagging tactics on the first invasion? There's no way. Dude, look at them. What are you doing? Nice aim, dude. This is ridiculous. We have to endure, chat. There's no option. If that guy right there dies, we will literally have a 401k. We cannot... <laughs> we cannot... Oh my god, this guy's aim is actually, like, so shit, but almost good. Are you fucking kidding me? You are overleveled as fuck. Get your ass up here. I'm not approaching you with this shit spell. Mind games? You're right, mind games. <sighs> Hang on, let me make sure that I can't accidentally. <laughs> what if I kicked him off the ledge? What if I kicked him off the ledge as they're coming up? Chat, what a riveting start. I need to have immediate access to kick. Because what if they're like right here and I just like, Bink! like just straight off the ledge. How are you guys so pussy, bro? There's no way that PVEers are all this fucking bad. It's actually crazy. Like I am literally a walking paper mache doll. Get the fuck up here and progress the level. Chat, this invasion is going to literally take four fucking hours. Jesus Christ. Hit this. You can't. We're communicating in Morse code. Up. Up is where you motherfuckers should go. Jaeger wins every day if the contest is twerking. Someone ban him, please. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying, chat. <laughs> Maybe you gotta let him hit you and then run away. But the thing is, is that Ash of War is fucking ludicrous. If I die to that Ash of War, it's Jover. Like, it's, it's just, like, the most anime insta-death. Maybe if I get right here on the stairs. Oh, no? Okay. N not going up the stairs. Okay, we're staying up. We're staying up. He, he shook his head no. What's his name? <laughs> I'm gonna send this guy a fucking PSN message being like, Could you please throw yourself off the cliff, please, and thank you? I wonder if these guys are in the stream. I doubt it, but... Send him a monkey emoji? But in the amount of time that I'm in my menu, the, the menus are so slow that I could very well die. 
This recording's been going on for 25 minutes, guys. This overleveled phantom goes for something sneaky that almost costs us the entire invasion. Okay, bro. There's no way you did that and went right back down the stairs. Oh my god. But this guy heard him, though! Let's act like we're AFK. Look how overleveled he is with that Ash of War. I meant with that... that... fucking... multicast... sorcery. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, how you doing, Wayfaring? There's no way. Knight, please do not fall to your death, I swear to god. He almost fell off the cliff! Ooh, that was good damage. Oh, damn it! <laughs> Oh my god, my fucking sister's in chat. <laughs> I rolled that, come on game. <sighs> my heart is literally racing. Almost nothing's happened, but my heart is literally racing. Unfortunately, we need to regenerate our HP with the Blessed Dew Talisman and seed the ground of the next Site of Grace. This is bad. Wait, are you dishonest, Light Roller? Yes, I have no advantages. Give me a break. And also, I don't care. <sighs> What's the plan now? That's a good question. Won't lie, don't know. He's a better caster than I am. We have to hide. I don't have any more healing. This is the reason that I got the Blessed Dew Talisman, though. I have the same amount of PvP runes as I do HP. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Wait, they're fighting the birds. Wait, he's getting his ass clapped. <gasps> Ow! Oh! HOLY SHIT HE DIED TO THE BIRDS! OH! <laughs> OH SHIT! WE'VE GOT A 401K! OH! <sighs> Chat, my heart is beating out of my goddamn chest. That's scripted, yo, this is- this may or may not be scripted. Oh, <laughs> yo! Okay, first is first is a is a win. Oh, chat. We can literally lose the next nine. We can literally lose the next nine, and it doesn't matter. Oh my gosh! You know what? Maybe there's a reason why it took them thirty minutes to walk up that staircase. If you're level four hundred and playing like that and dying to base game birds. Find God. <sighs> oh my gosh. This is why we needed Stormvale. We needed Stormvale because people find the dumbest ways to die in Stormvale. 
We making it out the slums of Aeonia? That's right. <laughs> the reason they lose is that L2 is too underwhelming in this game. That's so true, dude. Oh. Oh my gosh. Chat, I was so ready to lose every last one of these and get absolutely nothing. This is literally a fucking godsend. We can literally lose the next nine and I will be okay. Obviously, I don't have any plans on doing that, but that could... Oh. Push-ups harder than the invasion? True. <laughs> Alright, next invasion, second one. Second one, chat. That is so many runes. We can buy so many- We can buy carry and slicer after we kill a boss! <sighs> Any smithing stones yet? No, not yet. Slippery Snack. I don't like that name. Consider unlocking Selen? Absolutely. A well, you know what? We could... What's a boss that hides a really good thing for Mage? Because we can give all of those scrolls to Turtle Pope and not have to fight any bosses. Wait, this might be activated. That's what it is. Alright, our first win is definitely going towards the scroll that lets us buy... Okay, he does have a summon. There's three summons. What do we do? Do we kill these guys? Oh, no. No, 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 no. We don't want to reveal our hand. There he is. Jesus fucking Murphy. That's what I call fucking movie casting right there. I made a little tech called movie casting where you sling the the sorcery over the shoulder. There's three of them, chat. There's three. Nice reaction time, brother. I need you to stop doing that. Look at that genius thing I made up. Oh my god. We need to get our Physic off. We need to stand our ground right here, right now. We don't have any more healing. We only had one flask. We need to lure them into the- fuck! We need to lure them into the-, the this guy, whatever his name is. Omen. Omen. Please, dog. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, I fucked it up. He has no more healing. One ninety five. Oh, fuck. He shot me. He fucking shot me with a crossbow. It was actually a fire pot, but either way, I didn't see it. It sucks. We probably could have found a way to win this one. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We did get some runes for it, so it wasn't completely worthless. Get runes back? Oh my god, I forgot how shit this game is. Oh my god, you're right, chat. Thank you, chat, so much. Thank you so fucking much, I almost forgot. If it wasn't for people screaming to go get my runes, I would have just lost everything that we just got. Oh, W chat, dude. Holy shit, you guys just saved the fuck out of me. Someone almost had a dead-on prediction of what you would do, Jaeger. 
Yo, you guys actually saved the fuck out of me. If I if I died and lost all that, I would have literally just ended the stream. Lunar Elegy. Moonvale is what I'm hearing. So nothing is dead there. So he's probably in there. I don't want to jump down. I don't want them to see me yet. No, they're definitely in there. Let's try circling around to the top of the elevator and maybe we can kick somebody off or something like that. Maybe. Oh, hi, guys. Yo, tell me that ain't big brain. Do not boss fog me. Dude, that's some tech right there. You've got something I wish I had. Oh, they killed this already? Fuck. Will you chase me into the omen, though? Or into the birds? I hear birds. The host is about to pull the most evil trick that this run could possibly be subject to. Oh, fuck. Are you joking? That just wasted an invasion for the boss quota. Chat, we're getting cocked, bro. Are you serious? We've got two more invasions before we have to fight a boss. Son of a bitch. Hosts are so pussy, bro. Daily reminder that mom can hear everything you say. Oh, she's home? Well, fuck. Crazy. <laughs> <sighs> oh, fuck. That just wasted a totally winnable invasion. Dude, every single host and fan- That just wasted another invasion! No, this game's fucking rigged! This game's rigged! He saw that he was getting invaded and immediately DC'd! We have one more invasion! Are you fucking serious? Why not just not count fog walls? Because it would be too easy to... It, it just wouldn't be fun enough. That's why. This is extremely fun, of course. Okay. This is a very diable area. And it's farther from the boss fog. We really need to try and win this invasion, considering how the last three have gone. That is a fuck ton of... Catch flame and that is fucking disgusting. We need to dip. Seeing blood flame blade on the bear claws is terrifying, so we're gonna try and pull out all the stops. I don't think we're gonna be able to kill this guy unless he does something really stupid involving the birds. <sighs> okay, they're up. Oh, that being blood flame. Oh my gosh. We need to lure them down. I bet they're on the call together. Most likely. Whoops. No, he killed the bird. God damn it. I rolled that. Come on, game. Don't lie to me. Our, into our entire intelligence thing is getting wasted, but we can't do anything about it. Oh my god. Actually, you know what? Maybe these wasted invasions are a blessing in disguise. How did that not land? Oh! Yo! <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Do not make me pick up my runes game, I swear to fucking god. Yo! That just... <laughs> we get to pick up a second item! It didn't drop the... It didn't drop the runes. It didn't drop the runes. Oh! Chat, we have to fight a boss now. We have to fight a boss now, but we get to pick up two items. In that amount of time, we got two wins. 
After a couple minutes of talking with Chet, we eventually decide to get the meteorite staff and the scroll that gives you Carrie and Slicer, and the boss that we'll fight will be the Azula Man that's in the first cave. Now, in hindsight, maybe I should have fought the Mad Pumpkin Head to get access to Selen, but it made sense to me at the time, so I must have had a better idea for it. Okay, so meteorite staff and the conspectus scroll but we have to kill a boss. If we're killing a boss, but not getting, like, not gonna use its item, then we could choose just something really easy. What if we fought the boss in this cave? It's just a crumbling Azula guy. And then we'll just, like, put the talisman up because we didn't win an invasion for it. If it's not a staff, it can't be in the inventory, in the weapon inventory. That should have roll caught me, to be honest. Thank you, light roll. We're just wasting this boss encounter on something super easy, but the next boss we ha fight has to be a Remembrance boss. So obviously we're going to fight Godric first. So we need to spend... I can't see how many runes I have because of chat. Just a thousand runes. Just a thousand runes. Very good. Need to get that scroll. Okay. Chat, we're making strides, dude! We're making strides. We can go get Carrion Slicer now. We can actually win invasions. Nobody die, I swear to God. Nobody here fall off a cliff or anything. The staff. Yeah, we probably should just make our uh, Carrion Slicer hit as hard as possible. That's probably true. All right, Turtle Pope, give me the beautiful savior spell right here, right now. Turtle Pope. Does anyone know the lore on this man? This Chad of a being? <sighs> Show it to me. Oh, it's Royal House. I misnamed it. Oh my gosh, there it is, chat. Magic Glint Blade only costs 3,000. Hell yeah, we're gonna get it! Type 1 to annoy Jaeger and bring back Chainsaw? How the fuck does my sister know about Chainsaw? What the fuck? Here it is, Chet! Oh my god. Run is saved, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, Chet. Run is saved. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and buy a memory stone from the... Uh, the twin maiden husks because purchasing items does not count towards the invasion quota i like how sorcery has so few scrolls in comparison to incantations like jesus fucking christ they've got like a dozen yes okay chat meteorite staff actually should we do some leveling up i'm feeling rune level 25 rune level 25 is the highest i would go to keep limgrave alive Honestly, Chad, I think we just need to go Glass Chant Cannon. Until we're able to get the Blessed Blue Talisman, I think we just have to go Glass Cannon. He's overlooking Vigor. Dude, you have to consider, Odium, that we have to be able to kill bosses. We have to be able to kill bosses, okay? Every 15th boss is a Remembrance boss, and some of them have a fuck ton of HP. We have to be a Glass Cannon. We have to be. Oh... Oh my god, look at the vigor and the fucking blue being the exact same number. Look at that. <laughs> Honestly, 15 vigor is more than I was expecting. Okay, chat. Oh! Look at that! That is clean! That is clean! That is clean, come on. That's clean as fuck. Chat, I think we're gonna save the rest of our runes. I think we're going to save our runes for when we can start upgrading weapons and stuff. 37,566. Okay, that's what we have to remember. Our first attempt at getting the meteorite staff is a little bit interesting. Chat, my heart is still racing a little bit from that 80,000. Oh no, Millicent just invaded. Millicent just fucking invaded. Are you serious? I can... I don't want to fight her. Hang on, chat. Where is it around here? Moog is going to be tough. Moog's going to be extremely tough. That's the Sage set. That's not the right one. That's not the right one. 
You just had to take my goddamn horse away, Millicent. You fucking bitch. Wait, am I looking at it right there? Oh, no. I think that's it right there. There it is. Move! That is the first recorded death to a flower of all time. <sighs> Get flowered, thanks. Are we able to grab it from this side? Yeah, there it is, chat! Alright, let's get the fuck out. Oh, chat. Oh, chat. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Wait, does it weigh more? Oh my god, we're medium load. I can't have that. I have to light load, there's no choice. <laughs> <laughs> we start having a problem that I hadn't accounted for, which is that I'm not getting in any invasions now. So what I do is I go and buy some of the smithing stones that are at the different merchants in Limgrave, and then level up the astrologer staff, so hopefully that way we can start getting some activity again. There we go. Okay, we're fine. Okay, we're fine. The game was just having an aneurysm. Okay. Understood. That could be either up or down. This guy's not aggroed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... They haven't made it there. Let's check the birds. They're probably down. They're probably down, but we have to be sure. I didn't know of where to get six. Okay, yeah, they're definitely down. Okay. Oh, would you look at you? Oh, we're completely fucked. Oh, we're completely fucked. Chat, the phantom lagging like that made it to where he didn't give us runes. Because it counted as the host dying first, because he stopped lagging first. A win's a win, but okay, game. Seriously, dude? He probably would have given like 2k. Now that we're legitimately a threat, we can start invading places that aren't Stormvale. Ooh, okay. Invasion 2 out of 5, and then we have to fight Godric. Chat, be concocting what we should use that win for. Oh my god, he's lagging too. But he doesn't look overleveled. You don't look overleveled. That's right, baby. 345, I'll take it. Turning like that in the air is crazy. You just ate my inputs like a motherfucker. Why'd you do that, game? Guys, I can actually press buttons now. Guys, I can win invasions now! Let's go! Two for two, baby! Buy the telescope so you can use it on Selen's feet. Pit, say goodbye. Forever. There we go. Alright, third invasion, guys. Third invasion. Oh no, we're about to get boss fogged. Well, that's an invasion wasted. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Honestly, getting boss fogged in DC is, like, the most likely thing to kill this run from here on out. That is the most likely thing. God damn it. Our next invasion puts us somewhere pretty precarious. I don't know how I got an invasion here, to be honest. Except for Godric and Morgod. Oh my fucking god, this is the worst spot I could have asked for. What the fuck is this? Kalid? 
That is an overleveled as fuck phantom, though. That is overleveled as fuck. You have to be shitting me. How did we get this before Stormvale, dude? This is one of those invasions where we could really win a ton if we managed to kill this overleveled phantom. But being how dangerous overleveled phantoms are, it's extremely high risk, high reward. Wait, is the host wearing Melania's? Oh, chat, we have to be so careful. We have to wait for them to start attacking something. These guys are probably going to kill me very fast if, if they both attack me at the same time. We just have to stay at a distance. Are they on this side of the wall? They are. Let's stay on this side so they can't see us. Mewing, thank you, Kinzoku. Are you guys going to fight anything? You're overleveled and you're not willing to fight stuff? What is this? I know I'm just standing out here in the open, but they're just literally not even acknowledging me. Wait, are they able to enter the Evergal? Now that is a rune pinata, exactly. Hang on, I have a fear that they can start the, the Gowl. That's honestly not that much HP. I press the roll button, you shit game. Come on now. They can't? Okay. Thank you. Use that FP. Oh my god. Oh fuck, we have to get our runes back from there. Oh my fucking god. I didn't see him. I didn't see him, bro. Oh my gosh. L2 and ring, yup. Sadly, we do not pull through. Hopefully our fifth invasion goes well. We're two out of four right now. Two out of four. So we can currently pick up two items. Okay, we're going to lock in. We're going to lock in for this one. Stormvale, that's a good start. Oh, wait, they're near the boss fog. That's bad. Do not boss fog me again. I've, I, that will mean I have been boss fogged or DC'd five times. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Why is this our life? If it isn't our favorite weapon. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Is that right? Laggy Moonvale and you having that. There are some moments that define us, and some roles that are not to be panicked. Oh! Hang on. Oh my god. Get fucked! Get fucked, you monkey! Oh, 9K! Your ass. But GG's anyway. We just got 10k from that, dude. And we just got a third win. Oh my gosh. Chat, theorycraft what the three wins should go through, go to. Ka-ching, fucking lootly And with the triumphant conclusion of our 15th invasion, it is finally time to fight our first Remembrance boss, Godric. Uh, turtle tally? I don't think that's a good use. Chat, you have to realize, we are, we have to build this character for Moog, okay? We have to build this character for Moog. Okay. First try, baby. I have a friend that says this is the best boss in the game. Oh, we can beat him. Oh, we can beat him.
Oh, you're so cooked if I don't die. Okay, we might die. Oh, this is bad. He has so much forward momentum. Three, four, five. Oh no, he's gonna... We have to stay close. Oh, that's actually his most dangerous move, actually. Honestly, what we need more than anything is a sacred tier. That's what we need. That's what we need is a sacred tier. Okay, we just need to not die now. But I fought it yesterday. It was so good. <laughs> Look how much damage we just did. <laughs> Go for the roll. Please do not use the projectile. Thank you. That is some gorgeous damage. God damn. Chad, look at me dodging these. Oh, shit. Wrong spell. Whoops. Oh, fuck. Not even close. Guys, when we first started this character, we couldn't kill Godric if we wanted to. We just fucking shit on him with so much blue to spare. Oh, <laughs> yo. How many runes to get rid of? Four, four, seven, three, seven, one. Four, seven, three, seven, one. Okay. First try, baby. How many runes do we got to throw away? 20k. Okay, 20k is what we got to get rid of. We've got three wins to work with right now. We've got three wins. Hang on, I think that this guy up here sells a more expensive... Get Oracle Bubbles, but I, I'm, I'm not... I don't have uh, enough Arcane. I'd have to level up six times, and I just don't think that's a good use of our runes right now. We have to get the bare necessities. We have to get the bare necessities, and then we can start getting stuff that's like actually like really strong. You feel me? Let's see. So that leaves 80. So there we go. Now we're back at what we were at. So now we can just discard all this. Okay, discard. Yup. Okay, chat. So three wins, three wins. All right, it is time to collect our three rewards for this section of the run. Now, the first thing we're going to get is Rock Sling. Now, there's two reasons why. One, as it would turn out, it does a shit ton of stance damage to enemies, which will be good for stunning them and whatnot, as well as it's going to help us out big time against enemies that have a lot of magic resistance. The next thing we're going to get is the scroll right at the start of Liernia, and the most important spell that we're going to get from this is going to be the Swift Shard, which is very good for being able to get small, consistent bits of damage in over the course of a fight. And then the final thing we're going to get is an extra memory stone. That way we are going to be able to use four sorceries at any given time. Yo, we can buy them out. 600 runes for that is a steal. Oh my gosh. Look at that chat. Oh my gosh. Let me write down the new amount that we have to keep track of. Alrighty, what is up? We have had the best second episode we possibly could have. We now have a very powerful early game staff right here. We have a ton of sorceries. We have a lot of great stuff for the early game and just generally the game in total, honestly. like We have Slicer, which is the most important thing we could have asked for. Honestly, I thought we were going to win nothing and not be able to get it, to be honest. We have Rock Sling, which I've come to learn why every single PvE uses this. Apparently, this shits on bosses. And then we have a lot of other things to play with as well. And obviously, we're just going to keep adding to this repertoire. But fantastic stuff. We went from having the two shittiest spells in the game 
to all of this, so I am super stoked about that. We're holding on to our runes right now because I don't have a plan for them right now, and I might want to use them on, say, upgrade materials or something else purchasable. I might also want to spend them on leveling up at some point to, say, level 40 or something like that. These are the stats right here. Um, I think for our purposes, this is fantastic. Because of the mage drip, we are forced to use very light armor because all the wizard drip in this game that I'm interested in using is super light, so 9 endurance is fine. 20, mi 20 mind feels good. Uh, 24 intelligence feels extremely good. And then 15 vigor is okay for this level. It definitely could be better, um, but people tend to do low enough damage at this level that it's not that big of a deal. Um, this is our inventory. We have these two staves. We don't have anything new in the way of armor. And then we still have the one talisman. So, yeah, phenomenal episode one. We got what we needed to be able to kill Godric with absolute ease. Whereas if we had to fight him from just the start of the game, we could not do it. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I will keep on making these. This is seriously one of the most fun series, if not the most fun series I've ever done. So with that being said, have a good rest of your day. I was trying to find Bao, but point down is just going to have to do. <laughs> have a good one. Peace.